I remember I needed a cell phone service. Something was wrong with my Google Pixel 2, and I was going to buy a brand new phone, spend money I didn't have, make a very unwise decision. But somebody said, you should call Google and see what happens. I'm like, there's no way they're going to give me another phone, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I called them. They got me a refurbished phone, blah. Everything was set, zero dollars. And I got it, and I needed service, so I was going to my favorite place, Verizon. But they denied me. They said the number, the code didn't transact, or it didn't respond, or it didn't connect, and I wasn't able to get service with them. I guess a refurbished phone doesn't work. Anyways, I left the store. I was a little disappointed. I felt a spirit of disappointment come upon me. At the same time, I was trying to get car insurance. I went to Geico. They said something popped up on my record a few years ago, so I wasn't able to get insurance with them. I went to another place. I called them, gave them my information. It was going to be about 120 something a month, which is a lot. You can definitely get insurance for your car for cheaper. But then again, they said something popped up on my record. And I wasn't able, it wasn't able to go through. And I'm like, okay, what's going on here? I'm trying to get sell. So anyways... I say this to say this to say that to say this. I went to Teen Mobile the next day. I said, I'm going to try Teen Mobile. I went in there. And after the other day going through Verizon, they tried to send me an email, but they said we can't send it through an email. We can only send it through a text message. So I had to call the headquarters and the higher company of Verizon. And anyways, you know, technical issues. So I went to Teen Mobile. Within about 15 minutes, gave them my refurbished phone. Everything went through smooth. They didn't ask me no secret questions. Nothing popped up. And I left with Teen Mobile service. And my phone activated. And I praised God. And I was thankful. Smooth as could be. And now I'm on a plan where I only pay $15 a month. And then I prayed about my car insurance. How am I going to get car insurance to drive my car? I went to work. And three people told me, you should go to State Farm. So I said, okay. These other people denied me, so I'm going to go ahead and go to State Farm. I went to State Farm. I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It was so quick. It was so vivid. It was so smooth. And they immediately approved me, took my money out, charged me, and I'm only paying 70 a month. Boom, got car insurance. So anyways, I gave you that story, that testimony to tell you. In life, don't be disappointed. If one cell phone company denies you, go to another. If one person denies you, somebody's going to approve you. If one car insurance doesn't work out because of your record. So I say this in life. People say, well, I have a felony on my record. This person denied me. So they think everybody's going to deny them. So they leave disappointed. They leave frustrated. So I just want to give you a little bit of wisdom, a little update from the headquarters of Christ. Um... If one person, if one job doesn't hire you, go to the next. If one woman says no to marry you, try the next. Seek the face of God. If one thing doesn't work out, go to the next. You will be approved. You will rise. You will shine. I want to keep this short because I'm adding a whole nother category to this channel. In Jesus' name. May this bless you. May this increase your hope. May the glory of God fall on you. May the kingdom of heaven and Michael begin to reign on you. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, if one person denies you, go to the next. Don't stay in your disappointment. Go to the next and you'll get double approved.